What up, guys? It's the final nine holes of the Lincoln County War II. I hope you enjoyed the first three videos. Hope you've enjoyed all the content so far. All the good shots, bad shots, and then betweeners. <laughs> You're in for a treat on the back nine. Back nine, baby. Like the video, subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in on this amazing ride of our own version of disc golf coverage. Here we are on hole 10, 586 feet, par 4, Emerson Keith. <laughs> Just laces one right down the fairway. Right down the fairway. He's chasing five, but I think with the weather and everything, nothing's out of reach right now. Connor threw one, looked a little short. Wind played a factor. Zach kind of let that loose early. Was not happy, you could tell. Uh, I lost the didn't disc. look too bad. Okay, here we go. Here's Clint. He's chasing four right now. He kept telling me off camera, I'm tired of this damn tree. He said he hit it during practice. and I don't remember his first round, but he said he was right there next to this tree in the first round as well. He must like that tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, oh gosh. I uh, don't know where it went, to be honest. I just focused on him falling more than the shot. Okay. Annie. Don't Little win. Annie. Ooh, looked like a good bid from Connor Rock. Here's Emerson. Again, this is a par four, so all you're really trying to do is make sure you get a good up and potential putt here. It's okay. Uh, he just laid up, it looked like. Okay, here's Connor. Wins. <sighs> you could see the win now. Yep. This was one of the worst ones because we were like in between two mountains right here. Right, and it looks like you're pretty all the way up on the mountain. Mm -hmm, pretty much. Fairly open. Look at that. Oh, he just hit the tree. Here's Emerson for his birdie attempt. Again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a fun journey doing this. It was fun filming. It was fun editing. It was fun doing the whole process. Until next week. Oh! Weekend. Until oh. two weeks from now, we're doing it again in Roswell, New Mexico at the Alien City Open. If you're available, come out and watch these professionals, you know. I'm not trying to plug another tournament or watch the tournament, but if, you yeah. want to keep, if you're enjoying our commentary of this one, we're going to be doing it again. Yeah, there's a little bell icon right by the subscribe button. If you click that, it'll notify you guys every time we upload. Uh, that might probably be our next upload. Uh, so feel free to press that little bell button and subscribe if you can. Little Pario Everybody. Weed. Pario Luigi on that one, eh? Yeah, everybody parred that one out. 300 feet, par 3, hole 11. Do it! Ooh, I guess he had a decent ace run at it. Yeah, guys, I mean, obviously, you can see just by what we did, this is something we're going to be doing for a little while now. Like, this is probably where we're going. It's, it's very entertaining, and it's very fun to do. Yeah, plus we get to commentate, so I think that's enjoyable too. Plus, obviously, I think the one criticism maybe we could probably hear probably in the next four videos is the fact we didn't full, get the full flight. Again, thanks to my brother, if he hadn't been out there filming alone, we wouldn't have anything. So please say thank you in the comment section to him. Um, I'll be filming the next tournament with him. I won't be actually playing. So we're going to get full Ooh, flight patterns. We're going to get the Ooh, whole essentially oh, nine yeah. yards of, foot of uh, coverage oh, of a disc golf tournament. So uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned and check out how that goes too. And if there's any tournaments out there that would like coverage of their tournament, That's and it's nearby, like we live in Las Cruces, so we don't mind traveling. Let us know. Just let us know at least a little bit in advance. 
and we don't charge we don't do any of that we just trying to help everybody out um let us know emerson was deep in there by the way he's deep in there he tried to come out and he's still yeah yeah he's still pretty far in the woods i think that's for his par Good putt. Uh, yeah, he was saying in the camera, or I don't know if it's on camera or if it was off the camera. He was like, y'all do not want to be in there. He said it sucked being in that shrubbery over there. Yeah, I can imagine. So, Calvin coming away with the bird. Zach, par. And I think Connor is going to par this too. I think. I see parked it right there. Oh, my gosh. It happens. So Connor's gonna have to walk away with a very bad bogey. I know that's yeah, gotta hurt a little. You see the frustration out there. Yeah, guys. Again, this is the final nine, so we're gonna kind of promote ourselves a little bit oh, again. So you guys, let us know. Hopefully, if you liked it, comment something that you liked about the videos. Something that we comment something you didn't like. You know, I wouldn't mind. I don't look at it as negative i look at it as positive feedback i mean i want to we want to be better like this is our first time doing this yeah connor behind this has a double mando shot short uh if y'all didn't see zach i believe and calvin missed the uh mando okay so calvin's shooting from drop he just forehands out. Ugh, don't know if that was a good or a bad roll. Not the best up. Flick off the knee. You got a good skip. Connor just pretty much pitched up. Maybe a soft run. Uh, Emerson, I think both days, went for the double, got the double, and is even putting for a birdie. Mm -hmm. He really needs this. He's at the point of the tournament. It's like, you got to go for broke here. You're running pretty much any and everything if you have any bit of a chance. Yep. He's chasing five. Two holes already in the, down the drain on the back nine. We got to get it going. Ah! And if you notice, throughout his rounds, these two days, he's left them a little short, you know, a little off. His putting was off. Um... I ain't going to disclose anything we talked about off camera, but, you know, best of luck to Emerson, you know, whether he comes back today or not, it's, you know, we always rooting for those guys that are coming around and playing disc golf at a high level. So right there, Zach actually took a double bogey on this. Um, it was... It was pretty detrimental because look at the scoreboard. You had Zach at 14. Connor was the closest by three strokes. Now, even Keith that was down five, he's back in. Mm -hmm. And if there's anybody in this, you know, there's some badasses in this in the, on this card and on other cards too. This whole yeah, the whole top 10 was pretty close to winning this one yeah if you looked at the back of our last video at the end you had the leader or scoreboard there's probably about 10 guys within five strokes mm -hmm. a double bogey that's that's a lot to give up at this particular moment in the tournament facts everybody threw an okay shot it was decent yeah this is a pretty tough hole you would think just hyzered in but it's really not that simple this upshot right here was crazy between the trees and parked underneath the basket. That's where he ended up. That's where he ended up. So he's gonna he's definitely getting par here. Which is important. Cause even though Emerson parred that last hole, he gained a stroke and two on Zach. You know, Zach gave up Oh the banger by Kent Calvin. That's true. Shout out Latitude. Yeah. Kind of rock. Ooh! With the banger! Another banger! See? And that's just... And then you got my boy, Zach. Cleaning up his par. Cleaned up a par. Connor with the, the...
the stroke advantage there with the bird. Emerson, he gets the par. Okay. Clinton, Connor both made up some some sh strokes. Yeah. That was two banger of a throws, you know. Oh, I don't know. It may be good. That shot may be good right there. Oh, this this shot was amazing. Uh, he landed 15 above the basket. So okay. You know how the basket's on that Yeah. Level, but if he landed like 15 above it. Okay. It looked and good. It, almost early, but good. It was a good shot. Out. This was a good shot as well. Connor. Ooh. All right. Emerson. He knows. He's like, hey, man, I got to get it going, man. He threw a banger. It was about. I'm gonna say that was deep, 20 feet past the ball. So yeah, that looked a little aggressive. <laughs> but again, he nice knows shot. he's been around many big time tournaments. It's, it's, it's it. This it's is now, it. It's now or never. Back forever. nine is where you got to make your moves. And that's what we were talking about. Is everyone's oh. been pretty consistent. Nobody's really, <laughs> other than Zach earlier giving up that double. You know, you don't see very much. And remember, guys, this is par four, so. Trying to get his cameo on. <laughs> you can see him in the background. I thought it was Sasquatch. <laughs> Hell yeah! Do you see me, guys? <laughs> Finally made my appearance from about 600 feet. <laughs> it's all good. Sometimes. Connor for the two. Does he make it? <laughs> so many times people left it short. And I think it's just the wind. If you can't tell me I'm just gonna have to talk out off camera. Look at the basket, it is moving. Well, the camera's moving too. It's moving with the basket. I'm trying to keep it on line with the basket. But you can see even the grass there is just on tilt. Oh man, he whiffed it. Again, those putts have been I didn't understand this. What happened there? Right with there? the disc. Oh he was trying to <laughs> he was a disc we threw already. Like, it was his first shot, so he was placing it and just rolled down the hill. Oh, okay. I thought... No, he didn't throw that. Yeah, I got kind of confused there. I wasn't 100% sure, so there's some clarification for everyone there. Oh, no. Man. I'm just so looking to see if he's going to get upset, because I would have so been pissed. Good. Didn't get upset. Okay. Kept his composure. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Especially with the, the moment that's riding just on Just wait this. till you see where the shot went. I should have got the, the disc where it went, but it wasn't very... Out for on his end. Uh, okay. Keith with the birdie. I guess I didn't yeah, that. we didn't get that footage. I don't know so what happened. So it was about 20 out. He missed it again, so he parred instead of He ended up parring instead of an eagle. Oh, wow. That's quite the shift. Okay, we're moving to Chase card because we got Tanner Compton, if you remember from yesterday's card, and Christian, correct me, bro, if I get this wrong, but Jojo La. Okay, they're both chasing right now. If you remember, uh, Zach was at 13 just now, and Compton's at 12, and Christian's at 10 down. I'm trying to pronounce the last name. <laughs> These two, they, this is hole 15. This is the hole right in front of them. They ended up both just parring out on this hole. Um, if you see, Tanner had a banger of an upshot on his second shot just to par. Uh, here's hole 16, actually. There was Christian, and then here's Tanner. These two ended up pretty much almost parking both of them. Okay, and remember, this is a par four. So he hits his almost parked, but pretty good for birdie. Goes to 11 down. And then you have him and, oh, that was for eagle. Weak side. That was for eagle. So he ends up birdieing, and they're at 13 and 11 down, two holes in front right now. Mm. Now we're going back to hole 15, where these guys are still at. Chase, Chase car coming through. Chase car is going crazy. So I don't know nothing about the chase card. I obviously was with lead card. Didn't get to see much of that. If any, I didn't see any of it actually. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I I thought you guys would like that. A little bit of chase action. It got kind of, it's interesting right now. You got some guys back there. You got Connor's at 13, Tat, or Tanner's at 13, and Christian's at 11. They're two down and tied. Yep. 
then this card is no joke. You see, everybody's in contention at this point. Yeah, you got six guys right now. There's six guys. That's pretty amazing. He goes straight there Spike go. Kaiser here. There you go. Clint, yeah, he, he followed uh, Zach's route, but went a little bit wider and got a little bit better of a shot, it looked okay. like. Okay, Emerson's pitching up. Because it's all down a hill into it, like a canyon that just runs down the mountain, too. I feel bad. He said there was a lot of horse doo-doo. He had to, you know. <laughs> yeah, he said he had to move it with the stick. Oh, my gosh. We should have <laughs> threw that in there. Perfect cake. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one got faked out. It <laughs> got me. Then I didn't even get it because yeah. he pump faked me. He pump faked him, but he swacked it. So with the banger, Clint Calvin goes to negative 212. Almost at 2. Dang it. Connor, man, he's so close. Yeah, it's oh, like so it. he parred. I think he birdied this. No, he parred. Okay, so you got pars. Clint actually, with that banger, ends up making a stroke. So now going into the 16th hole that Chase car just finished, they're one down, two down. Yeah. Or they're tied and one, two down. So it's close, guys. It's close. I'm sitting here on lead card, or Chase card filming, looking at the scores on the back. He's got the scores going into the end. There's just a lot going on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good angles, Lift, baby. Lifting, because Connor got cold. He put his jacket on. Huh. <laughs> it definitely was chilly. It was, it it was, was definitely chilly. chilly the second day. A lot chilly. more chilly, and then the wind was... It wasn't forgiving. It was very brutal out there for a while, especially the gust. Oh, oh baby! <laughs> Emerson yeah. with a, a nice shot. This is a Mando, by the way, guys. So if you don't remember, you got to hit that. Ooh, it just went over and it's right. So here's where he ended up. Bucky. Oh, so he left a little short. This is a par four, though. So he's at least looking at birdie right now going into his next shot. This is Clint. Couldn't see, but it looks like he laid up fairly decent for the birdie. Okay, Connor here's got the eagle. This is for eagle. This is to potentially take the lead. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness, he left it on weak side. Can't go on the left when you're left. Right. All right. Okay, so he'll be looking at birdie. Emerson's looking at, I think this is bird, uh, eagle right here. Is it? No, it's par. I don't remember. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's just been off today and yesterday. It's, and to think, he's still bogey free through two rounds. Mm -hmm. And he got the birdie there. So he's at 11 down. But, yeah, through, through two rounds of <laughs> gusting cold wind, you have no bogeys. Connor gets the bird. Zach gets the bird. They move to 14. Clint's going to get the bird. So it was just a bird. It was just a little Back piece. to Chase card. Hole 17, par 5, 13, 45 feet. Stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> that was Christian. He threw a pretty good shot there. There is an OB to the uh, left. Uh, it's a Mando. I think it's a Mando. I'm pretty yeah. sure one of the two. It's either way. So he got through the Mando, but he did carry far left. So here's Christian on his second shot. He throws a pretty good banger. Like he launches into oh all of it. Here's here's Tanner. I think he hit the tree and dropped. It's him again. I think this time he left it short. This is for Eagle. He just kind of pitched up and decided to take birdie. That was Connor. He went long, I guess, and he pitched up. And then you have right there, you got a birdie from Christian. 
and a, I guess, a par from Tanner. So now we're moving forward to the final hole. Obviously, you know Zach and Connor are 14 down. These guys are chasing two and one stroke right now. I ain't going to lie. Tanner laced one. He laced it, and he was asking me, what do I do? What do I do? Because he knows the card behind him, what they're doing. Yeah. So this is Christian. He kind of gives it a bid. He even said, I was running it. I knew I had to run it. Connor lays up here. This is big, guys. So Christian hits it, gets his birdie, goes to 13 down. Tanner hits his birdie, goes to 14. He's actually now tied with the leader, with them having still two holes left. Now let's go back to lead card, baby. Oh my goodness, this is getting interesting. There's three guys at 14 down right now. Clint Calvin at 13. Clint Calvin's at 13 with two holes and a five par left. Jeez. This is getting crazy. And Emerson's still not out because this is a par five. He could get an eagle. He could get an eagle. And But we'll see. I mean, there's... I can't yeah, even count know. none of them. Now, you got to count the guys that are in chase oh. card where they're at. At the very least, you would say... Tanner's at least got the chance to win. And then Emerson throws and goes to the left, and he's past the Mando to the yes, left. Yes, he ends up basically going OB. And gave a guy a souvenir, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he did. And there's the guy on the bike right there. He kept Emerson's this because Emerson told him to keep it. <laughs> That's what's up, Emerson. Good guy. <laughs> okay, so Emerson was shooting three there. So at that point, I think Emerson knew it was, it was done. Yeah. It was pretty much chalked up. It was... Kind of too far out of reach. Yeah, that OB kind of killed him right yeah. there. Zach here, he threw a pretty decent up. Clint, Clint I think, is being more aggressive. Oh, yeah. He, I think he knows I'm chasing one still. He had this guy right here, Connor, had a banger of a drive. Look at this. Yeah, he's, he's so half of the, far He's up. half the fr uh, fairway right now, it feels like. And he clips that tree, tree right there. And it, yeah, as you it can see, it flares out and doesn't go, but maybe it dies right there. 200 feet. Yeah, it died right underneath there. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. Second shot. Third shot. Looks pretty good from where we're at. That basket does sit on side heel. Here's Emerson. Kind of just trying to, you know, finish, weather the storm. Finish the round out, it looks like. I mean, I don't blame him. It's kind of hard being on a car where you feel like you're out, out. like it's Yeah, it's like once. But look, it took him, you know, 46 holes or whatever, 30 whatever mm -hmm. holes to finally be like, oh, I'm not in it no more. Oh, you're going and on. you could tell Clint's going for it. Yeah, he knows what's at stake. He's like, I'm chasing. I have to run what I, I especially that. It was a decent well, look. Dude, he almost made that. Uh, that would have been crazy. Yeah, buddy. And Zach just lays up, content with taking his birdie. This Here's is Emerson. Looks like he's about probably edge of second circle. Maybe a little bit further. Oh, that was a I mean, save that was par. a good bid. That was to save par. Here's Connor for his three or four. Missed it. That's rough. That's Here's rough. Clint. He's again still chasing. I think this is for his four. And oh, he does it. And I think he made it. that same thing yesterday or the oh day before. Oh my gosh, this kid is going crazy. So Clint just moved to being one down of the lead. Both Connor and Emerson. Connor with the par. Emerson with the bogey first of the weekend. Zach throws one. Pretty decent, decent throw, man. He he's pretty oh, far down. Yeah, Zach, let's go, let's baby. Go. I ain't gonna lie. We were down there on Chase Card. Good line. This will just oh, do probably good line. 100 feet. 
Why I'm not lying ever? to you guys. Like 200 feet past the basket. <laughs> yes, it's it's oh, far it's down. God, there, pretty man. He threw it a banger. Here's Emerson. Again, he's just kind of, I think, at the point. He's like, man, I finally bogeyed. I'm, I'm just kind of checked out. I think he threw a nice one, but then it, I think it ends up hitting a tree. Yeah, he hit a tree on this one. So I'll try and do another cameo behind that tree if you can't see him. Dude, <laughs> look at me all hiding. Whoever comments where they seen me, I'm gonna I'll give them a high five. <laughs> okay, here's Clint. This is his second. He knows he needs to pretty much birdie. Oof. A lot of shakiness, but he's got a decent a very decent look at birdie right now. Uh, there's Connor. There's Connor way down the mountain shooting back at the basket. And he hits a tree, but it was going to come up short anyways. So here's Connor, or Zach, forehand. And I think he goes past the basket. Here's Emerson. I believe this is for his three. And again, he left it short. It's just been one of those days for him. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. This is for his three right this here. This is for Zach's three. He makes this. It seals the deal. Checking the wind. And he hit chains. So now if Connor makes this, he can push a playoff. He has to make this. Oh, and he missed it, man. Yeah. He oh, missed. Okay. Bastard. Clint makes this. He, what in the world? He, he makes that. It's a playoff. If he makes that, it's, he's dead. I feel your pain, my boy. So Zach ends up with 15 down. He's got to give me. And that's exactly how it's going to end, guys. Is with uh, one high and one literally hitting the middle of the pole and bouncing out. Yep. It Clint was, had the chance to go into. You rarely see those, but they do happen. They do happen. And that is a visual representation. We got Zach Johnson. The 2022 champion of Moon Mountain, Lincoln County Wars. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was on the, the card with him, following him, lead card. He was up uh, 12, yeah, what, 12 strokes in the beginning? Yeah. yeah. So, Ended with 15. Right. Very yeah. weak. Yeah. How, how'd that uh, like, oh, it was, like? Oh, it was nuts out there. Nothing was a give me. Every putt, I mean, even 10, 15 footers, there was no give me. Everybody was missing them. The wind was blowing us left and right. It really made it interesting out here. The hike? Oh, oh, was the hike? Oh, amazing. the hike is amazing. If you guys haven't made it out to Rio Dosa, they have some sick courses out here. They have really good property, really great views, and really good design. So. Heck yeah. Good, man. Good. You had a few shots that I could remember that you uh, you hit the one over the canyon where it's like dips down. Yeah. You had a very good shot. It went left on that one. Yeah. Uh, I, I liked it. Uh, you were a little upset. I thought yeah. it was nice, but you were a little upset at that shot. Right. Uh, any reason for that? Yeah. Well, honestly, the way it turned over, I thought it was going to kill First part of the Right there where I was at is kind of the bunker, yep. but I was lucky enough to have an outshot. So. Is this your first time playing yeah, in Rio Yeah, it's my first time in Rio Oh, man, it's the first time for me even really? walking this course. Really? It was crazy. It was amazing. I'm honored to, to be behind you uh, with the cameraman. Uh, what's your next tour? Uh, I'm next at, event? heading out to Waco for the uh, Disc Golf Pro Tour. So. Nice, man. Nice meeting you. Congratulations. Hey, Shout out, you. Zach Johnson. Thank you. Thank you for that small interview. Here's the final leaderboard, guys. He ends up taking the Lincoln County Ward 2. Uh, 15 down. Uh, good luck at Waco. That's a challenging tournament. Best mm -hmm. of luck to you. Thank you, guys. Dynamic Disc, Everett, Taco, everybody else that helped. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you guys in Roswell in a couple weeks. Um, please subscribe if I have anything else to ask. Just like and subscribe to the videos, baby.